basically just glue it on lower most of the time. Any shape that you like. Hi everyone, it's Anthony here from Anthony's Hobby Corner. Um, I'm making this quick video um, on request from a subscriber uh, to show a way to make a quick and simple chain link fence. And so I'm going to take a few minutes here to um, walk, walk you through a quick method of making a very simple and easy chain link fence uh, that you could use for your model railroading or any kind of dioramas from that perspective. Okay? So the materials we're going to use for this chain link fence are very, very simple. It's, you know, um, the typical tool that you'd use C for decorations and stuff like that. I've used this before. It uh, comes in a, in, a, in a reel. Now I have the black version of tool here. And I also have <clears throat> the white tool here as well. It's a very fine mesh. So I'm just going to use the black one for now. There are different kinds. There's also this silvery kind as well, which you can also use. Um, all right. So this is what we're going to use for the mesh for today. And then for the vertical rods for your fence, you can use anything, for example, you know, copper or um, copper wire or any kind of wire for that, mat for that matter. I have some some rails here from, from my track that I've pulled out from old track. I could use the rails as well. So I think for this one I'm going to use rails uh, for the um, for the vertical rods. And then we just need some glue. I'm just using some Gorilla glue to glue the mesh onto the vertical rods. And that's pretty much it. So let's get going. So. Um, for my model trains, or for the HO scale trains that I have, I've chosen to um, keep the height, fence height at one and a half centimeters, or 1.5 centimeters. And I also have chosen to keep the, the, the vertical uh, fence posts two and a half centimeters apart. I find that it works fairly well for me from an aesthetic standpoint. So one and a half centimeter height, and then two and a half centimeters apart each vertical uh, vertical post. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a bunch of uh, vertical posts from this rail and uh, we'll use that to make the fence. Okay, so what I've done here is that I've measured a centimeter and a half over here. I'm just going to show this to you fairly quickly. So I've measured a centimeter and a half gap here from the edge of this wood to this piece of wood that I've clamped here. Reason why is because now I can just place this rail across here and then just put my wire cutter right here and just keep cutting over here and I'll, I'll have the same length of post each time. Okay, so I've set up the wood here for a centimeter and a half gap here. And I'm just gonna use a wire cutter and keep cutting these now. All right, so here we go. Just gonna take this rail, put it against here. As you can see, you can just keep cutting these very quickly once you have a, a jig set up like this. Okay, so I'm just going to keep cutting these and I'll uh, pan back on here once we're done. Okay, so now that we've cut the verticals, you can see they're all the same length. And uh, it was much easier doing that with this little jig on the side. So now I'm going to remove this. Just stand by. Okay, so I removed the jig. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a piece, piece of this tool. Hopefully you can see the mesh right now. And I cut a piece of this for the length of the wood that I have here. Just cut this. Okay, 
there we go so i don't need this reel anymore on the side okay now what i'm going to do is i'm going to stretch this piece of tube across the wood like this and i'm not going to stretch it tight it's just going to leave it to sit naturally here And I'm going to now tape both ends down. Okay, so I just uh, put some tape on this end here. And now I'm going to lightly, lightly tug on it like this. And then put a tape on this end. There we go. Okay, so the reason I did that is because now I can slide these these rails where are they? Slide them underneath the material like this and then just put some glue on there and that's it so what I've also done here is you probably notice you probably notice that I've got some markings here over here okay on the wood I've, I've marked I've marked uh, a gap of two and a half centimeters uh, apart each 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 marker and the reason I marked a gap of two and a half centimeters each time is that way I can just place these these vertical rods right at that spot and put some glue and I know that I've got it exactly the same spacing each time all right Okay, so I've got the uh, rod here sitting on, on a pair of tweezers and I've dabbed some glue here on the stick. I'm going to place this rod right underneath the first part where I want this to be. Just put a little bit of glue on top here. And you'll notice it'll start to adhere right away. There you go. And now we have plenty of time to position it the way you want. There you go. And now we place the second one. Just grab another rod. Hold it with the tweezers, a little bit of glue, put it in the second spot. And it'll start to grab. And don't worry if you have a little too much glue. This glue is completely, will, will dry completely transparent. Okay, grab the next rod. Hold it in place where your marker is. Just roll it on. And there it goes. Just keep going. And 
And there you go. So I'm just going to pan out for a second and I'm just going to place the rest of the posts and I'll bring you back in. Okay, so that was fairly quick. As you can see, I've placed most of them here. I've just got a couple of more to put in here. I'm just going to finish them up here. I'd rather have you guys on video. Sticks right like that. There we go. I think you can squeeze one more on this side. It doesn't really matter if these vertical posts are all equally spaced or perfectly vertical because most fences as you know in reality tend to lean to one side and tend to have a lot of imperfections so okay and here's the last post I'm going to put in here on this side As you can see, this already started to dry up very quickly. Okay, I'm going to let it dry for a few minutes and then we'll go to the next step. Okay, so that was about maybe five minutes of lapse time that I waited for these posts to dry. And I think they are fairly dry, so this glue dries fairly quickly. This is like generic Gorilla wood glue that I'm using. That's what I happen to have with me. So what I'm going to do next, I'm going to remove the tape from the ends here. Okay, pull out the tape. Same over here. And now we have a vertical pulse hanging on the tube. Now I'm just going to cut the top off. So I have the scissors here. I'm just going to trim off right from the top. Okay, so I'm almost done. Just a little bit more to go. And there's the remaining two. And there's a the chain link fence. Now, as you can see, I got some uneven spots down here. I'm going to trim that out as I uh, as I uh, as I place it on the layout. I can see exactly where I want to place it, and then I can just trim these ends. You can see a little bit over more on here. I can trim that out. There you go. So now you got yourself a flexible 
chain link fence with vertical posts. Now, as you as you notice, I didn't put any kind of horizontal post on top. Basically, you just glue it on on the floor, post at a time, into any shape that you like. And here's how it looks. Uh, it's hard. Okay, you can see it now, it's focused properly. And there's your uh, little chin. Okay. Well, I hope that was helpful. Quick and dirty way of making a simple fence, chain link fence. All right, thank you.